Hello, I'm Richard Hunter, Head of Markets, and welcome to our look ahead for the week commencing the 8th of November. There have been a couple of very important announcements this week. First of all, we had the confirmation that the Fed would be tapering its asset buying program. It's going to start to scale down by some $15 billion per month, which implies that the entire QE scheme will have evaporated by the middle of next year. Well taken by markets, which had been anticipating the move, and the Fed were very much at pains to point out that tapering did not necessarily mean an increase in interest rates. In the UK, of course, the Bank of England left interest rates unchanged, slightly against the grain of what the market was expecting. Interest rates still at 0.1%, although there remains a possibility that we may see something in December. And in any event, it does rather seem as though some kind of interest rate hike is imminent. That news was taken rather less positively in terms of the way the news was communicated. But even overarching those big announcements from the central banks on both sides of the pond. Earnings season remains in full swing and it is still the case uh, that uh, generally speaking expectations are being smashed. It's been enough to push many of the uh, US indices to new record highs and record closing levels such that in the year to date the Dow Jones is now up 18 percent, S&P 500 up 24.6 percent, the Nasdaq up 23.7 percent and the FTSE 100 up 13 percent. So looking ahead to next week in the UK is a couple of companies very much worth keeping an eye out for. The first one is Associated British Food, who've got their full year numbers, shares up 10% or so in the last year. And despite the strength of the grocery and sugar divisions, which we've been seeing, all eyes will very much be on the Primark part of its business. It's rather suffered during the latest pandemic, so it'll be interesting to see how store sales have recovered since then. They had previously been seeing quite a lot of pent up demand and indeed larger basket sizes. And another thing to bear in mind with Primark is how they are faring in terms of their ongoing US expansion. Also got half year numbers from Marks and Spencer, uh, shares up about 101% over the last year. Always worth looking out for their food business. It's tended to be their jewel in the crown, particularly now, of course, in terms of its tie up with Ocado. Look out also for any growth in online sales and how the previously struggling clothing and home business is also faring. And finally, half year numbers from Burberry, shares up about 37% over the last year or so. This is a very much a brand which is attracting new customers uh, due to what it calls its own digital brand heat. It's also uh, in a situation where it's trying to offset the lack of tourism because Asian customers have previously been quite a big slug of its business. It's also um, expanding its business in the US. So full price sales, something to look out for, as well as any recovery uh, in terms of the overall, glo overall global economic recovery, which has been slightly stuttering of late. Thank you for watching. Have a great week.